Hey guys, welcome back to my video here. This is Pedro Fame. So I know it's been a couple, it's been about a week. Um, I wanted to go ahead and get you guys some new gaming news. This isn't really a gaming channel. Um, I don't really talk really about games, but I wanted to go ahead and highlight some. It's the summer of gaming. This is when all the new releases come out. So this is when you guys can be updated and expecting some new games to be dropping for you guys. Um, like I said, I... This isn't a game channel. There are some games that I'll mention on here that I will be getting and will be playing. And if you guys do want to see anything gaming related, please let me know in the comment section down below. Also, guys, please, please, please make sure to like and subscribe. It helps out so much. I need the subscribers. Uh, YouTube obviously famously lowered the requirements to be part of their uh, program, be a partner. Um, if you guys can please get me to 500 subscribers, that'd be awesome. We're doing great on the view side. We just need the subscribers to get to that level. And also, if you guys can please like and comment. I need more comments from you guys so I know what to put out and when to put them out. Um, like I said, I'm super glad that you guys have been killing on my last video on the views part. We just need the subscribers and we need uh, the comments and the likes to, to get up to that range. But let's go ahead and get into it. Um, so obviously here's some of the games that have already came out here in June. Um, the only ones that I really haven't are AEW's and Ghost Tricks, Destroy All Humans 2. Reprobe has already been uh, put, I believe, on the date of this video. No, tomorrow. comes out tomorrow. I'm sorry. Um, Final Fantasy 16 and all that. Um, but here are some of the games that came out for you guys if you guys didn't know. Uh, obviously the two biggest ones being Street Fighter 6 and Diablo 4. Diablo 4 being, I believe, the number one game of the year so far. Comes to sales already, um, which is crazy because you would think Elden Ring would hold that record, but a lot of people love Diablo and was waiting for a new Diablo, as I think it's been like eight years or something like that since the last Diablo came out. So that's really big. Obviously, Street Fighter 6, another big game uh, that did well. But for some upcoming ones for you guys, um, here's, here's some of those. Um, for July... Uh, Exo Primal is probably the only one really that's been that's really a known um, tale. I saw Exo Primal's um, previews, trailers, gameplay. I'm not a big fan of it. I don't like. I don't think it's gonna be a good game. To be honest with you guys, I think you, um, anybody who does buy it, I'm not saying to not buy it. I'm just saying to be cautious because I don't think it's gonna live up to the hype of a game of of you killing um, dinosaurs that's pretty much what it is you're just ex eradicating the dinosaurs that are coming through the portal um, August I think though it's gonna be very interesting um, Immortals of Avion looks amazing stunning um, if you guys didn't know that's gonna be a that's gonna be interesting um, I believe it is first-person view it is a great RPG game um, you guys are really going to enjoy that. If you really like RPGs, I think Immortals of Avion is going to be great. Only problem is it's kind of in August, which is a tough time because I know what's not on here that should be on here, but is uh, Madden. Um, so if you guys don't know, August is a time where Madden just goes crazy in that month. It usually kills anything in sight. Um, so, but hopefully Avion secures its spot as being something that, um, Gets really big, obviously, out there. September's launch, uh, the Cruise Motor Fest. I, 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 let me tell you, I threw away the crew once the crew, once I played the crew two. Once I played the crew two, I realized, you know what, the crew just is a lower tier than Gran Turismo and um, Forza, and they don't compete with it. And I, so I shouldn't be upset by it, but I am because I wanted the crew to really pop out differently than those two. Um, it just unfortunately never happened. Um, but like I said, don't be discouraged or anything like that. If you love the crew style, buy the crew. Lies of P is a diff, I don't know, if I, I don't know, hopefully it'll show it here, yes. So here's the Lives of P. Um, I don't know if a lot of people have been talked about it enough, but it is a new game from Fine Shine Games. If you know about them, they've made some interesting Bloodborne games. Uh, I believe they're the Bloodborne, or is it Souls? No, I think it's Bloodborne. The ones that they created. This is the new universe they've come to. It's the Lies of P. Um, it's going to be interesting. It's 
it's a sixty dollar game, so it's gonna be interesting on that one because usually they're like seventy dollars and stuff like that. But it's a sixty dollar game. It's gonna be following uh, a unique combination of Fable and Legions art styles and play styles. So it's gonna be very interesting to see how this game does. I don't know what it's going to do on ratings or anything like that. Um, I've seen a couple of trailers and gameplay of it. I'm not 100% sure on it. I don't want to speculate too much on it and then get people down. But a game that could actually be good for them if they actually give it a chance. Mortal Kombat 1. That game, as you can see right here, obviously, is going to be a pretty good game here. Um, it's going back in time, obviously, from the events of Mortal Kombat 11 detailing of how they went back to the original Mortal Kombat and, and how it all started and how it all began and everything like that and that was going to happen interesting reason an interesting um way that it kind of goes back and forth at the same time I don't know I, I'm going to be honest I don't think the story is going to hit at all I really think and I'm hoping the gameplay just absolutely just is amazing and it's just as good as Street Fighter 6 to where we don't have to worry about the story. But I'm very, very scared that the story is going to be really bad. Just from what I've seen so far, it doesn't look great from a story perspective. But gameplay-wise, it does look really, really good. Payday 3. Everybody's been waiting for a new payday. You know what it is. September 21st. It's going to be a game that's going to be very much a big-time game. Um, also, games that I'm looking uh, and that I'm going to be buying Mortal Kombat 1 um, and maybe Immortal of Avion, depending on how that kind of goes. But for sure, Mortal Kombat 1. Um, I never really pay, played the Payday series that much, so I'm not invested in it like a lot of people are, but I know so many people that are going to get this game. So make sure to stay tuned on that one. The DLC of Cyberpunk 2077. I've already thrown away Cyberpunk um, because of the launch and because of... It took over a year just from the fix the game. So, but if you're still into it, Phantom Library is gonna be adding a lot of new content. So, and then Inspector Gadget. Uh, if you've seen the movies, you know what to expect from Inspector Gadget. October's obviously the big games here: Assassin's Creed, Mirage, Alan Wake Two. If you've ever played Alan Wake One, you're and a lot of people, I probably have and didn't realize it. Alan Wake Two is the sequel that we've been waiting for for like six plus years. So that was going to be a ginormous game. You can bet that that one's going to be a massive unit seller. But the one that's going to top everything, and I think the one that everybody is going to go crazy for, is Spider-Man 2. October 20th. Everybody has it written on their calendar. That is the day to buy Spider-Man 2 and enjoy the crap out of the game. I'm with them. I love Spider-Man 2. I'm going to be buying that game on the day, too. So don't worry about it. If you guys are on the fence, don't be buy it. I've seen the gameplay trailers. I've seen the cinematic. I've seen it all. It looks amazing. It's going to be good. You can play as either Miles Morales or Peter Parker. It's going to be fire. Trust me. Uh, Assassin's Creed Mirage. Uh, I'm probably not going to buy it. Uh, that's just how I've been on Assassin's Creed recently. I just haven't been into them. I really don't like the whole 40, 50, 60 hours of, of game. That I'm just not into that anymore. I would really just prefer like the old games were just a quick 20 to 30 hours and I'm done. I don't want to be playing a game for 40 plus hours. I don't have the time, nor am I going to be invested long enough to be in there for that long. Lord of the Fallen. I cannot wait for this game because I really, I'm going to be buying this game. Because I love the way the gameplay trailer and the way it came out. And you guys can see it here as well. Here's what it looks like. Lord of the Fallen. It looks so dang good, guys. It looks so dang good. It's it's similar to it's similar to Elden Ring in terms of like play style and everything, but it is different. And obviously the story it tells, the depictions, the medieval times looks and stuff. It just looks awesome, and I just, I'm honestly just cannot wait. Also, the hundreds of weapons that you can choose from is another thing that I'm big on. Um, next game, uh, Just Dance 2024, obviously, and then Metal Gear Solid Master Collection Volume 1. Obviously, any Metal Gear Solid is going to do amazing. 
especially if it's going to be since it's going to be coming out on the PS5 um, October 24th. I believe it's on Xbox as well. Uh, November doesn't really have anything right now for it, and December is only Avatar and Pandora, and then January is The Prince of Persia, um, and then February Suicide Squad. Don't buy that game. But here are some games that don't have release dates that are probably going to be coming out um, within this year or so. So Arc Raiders, Among Us, VR, maybe coming out this year or not, but we'll, we'll, we'll see on that one. I don't think anything too much. Oh, uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is going to be coming out in 2024, so look forward to that game. But I don't think any 2023 games are coming out. No. So we're going to have to... Yeah, because 10 can 8, we don't know. Texas Chainsaw, we do know, by the way. That's coming out um, right after, I think, one of these games. I forgot. But they're, they are coming out. They, their date has already been released. But the Nintendo's games, um, I don't think it was any big one. Uh, I know they're re-releasing Pikmin, Pikmin 1 and Pikmin 2. If you're a big Pikmin fan, I do love Pikmin. Um, these are... Some awesome ones, and Origins Plus is also coming to Switch. Um, but those really aren't the ones I really want to get into. The ones that I really wanted to really stick is Pikmin 4. That's going to be coming out in July. That's why you're seeing the Pikmin 1 and 2 being released. Um, as 4 is going to be coming to July as a new iteration. Um, so I'm super happy on that. Um, nothing in August, really. September... Mortal Kombat is coming to Switch, so if you want to play Mortal Kombat on Switch, you are now able to. Um, October is a big one. Super Mario Wonder, the fact that they're re-releasing this game, but an updated, better, way better format and everything like that is going to be amazing. That game was great when it first came out. I'm super, super excited about it. You guys can see it here. Um, if you guys ever played the original wonder it was an awesome game and this one is going to be no different i love the art style i love the way it looks um also you guys are going to see something else another mario game that's going to be coming out super mario rpg which is a game that was released way back in the day that they're really releasing now and if you guys you guys are big mario fans you pretty much have to look forward to october and November of back-to-back -back Mario games, which we've never really seen um, from the Mario set. So I'm really happy about that, and I'm glad they are putting that out there. Um, I think those were like the big movers and shakers when it came when it comes to obviously um, Switch, along with Hogwarts Legacy being able to be played on November 14th. Um, that's something that's going to be awesome as well. Uh, here are some games that don't have release dates yet. But it's going to be awesome. Louise Mansion. They also showed that off. That's going to be in 2024. Dark Moon Remaster. So if you're a big Luigi's Mansion fan, that one is probably one you're looking forward to hugely. I don't think anything else is coming out even soon. I know Star Wars Hunter. Um, that was shown off. That will be. And then Sonic Superstars will be in the fall of 2023. And Star Wars Hunter is supposed to be the end of 2023. So those are two more games to definitely look forward to. Um, on the Xbox slate of things, let's move into that. Um, I don't think they have an exclusive even coming out till September. Yes. So September, you have Starfield. Obviously, that's the game I am going to buy. I love that um, Bethesda's doing a whole new thing. Um, first new universe they've done um, in a very, very long time. So I'm super active and ready to see how that comes out and when it comes out how great it's going to look it's also around the same time 2k is coming out so it is going to be a little bit of a crazy time there because they are going to be going up against 2k in september and i believe around the same date as well october that's four that's four this month don't even try it that's four this month for xbox i'm going to be totally on that you guys can see here from the showcase um, that's the E-Ray. It is going to be the best. I cannot wait to be able to drive a C8 on in the game looking this beautiful. I know you can on, on Forza Horizon 5 
and um, Gran Turismo. Don't care about those games. I care about a Forza Motorsport series. This to me is the one to get. And I love Forza Motorsports. Um, another, I don't think they have anyone else coming out this year. So it was just start for the Forza. If you're looking for um, specific games for the Xbox that are going to be released, those are the only two. There is no other ones coming out for this year that we know of so far. There could be could be some Arc Two, 2024 release. I know that they mentioned that. Um, don't I think most of theirs is going to be coming out in 2024 because Fable hasn't been given a release date yet, even though they've shown off some things about that. That that's going to be a very interesting game if you're into Fable. Uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater remake. We don't have a specific date on that yet, but that should be a great game when that does decide um, to sh show itself. But I know they have a lot here, but thing is, they don't really have a solid date on some of these and then obviously for pc um june's diablo 4 was obviously the biggest one i don't think they're getting all the games if i'm not wrong um they're getting a lot of them though i at least from what i'm seeing they're still getting a lot of them i don't know anything they're not getting and they're getting on the same dates that we are in console. So I guess finally PC is finally getting their own thing. Like they should have they should have gotten. Um, but make sure to like and subscribe. Please, guys, like I said, please subscribe. It's easier to become a partner now. 500 subscribers is all I need. If you guys can please, please, please get me to 500 subscribers. And make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. See you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for watching my latest video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.